Welcome back. Today I want to continue trying to get my Innocenti S Fighter running and driving. Last time I tried to get it to run off of the fuel tank, but the line and tank are clogged up. That's why the bonnet is open right now because I have a little fuel jug hanging from it supplying fuel to the car. Let's get to it. This is interesting. Coming out of the fuel tank, it looks like there's a little hose that's been put on there that goes to that pipe. So I'm not sure why there isn't a hard pipe that goes directly into the tank. So I'm wondering if there was a problem here before and then someone replaced a little section with the hose, but I'm not really gonna know until I get this apart. So I'll try to remove this hose. I'm sure that I'll have to destroy it to get it off and then we'll see what's underneath there. I have that hose cut now. It definitely is a hose that was connected to a pipe and nothing's coming out of it. So my first issue is going to be unclogging the tank and letting the fuel flow out of that. And then after that, we can worry about whether the fuel line is clogged up or not. If I want to drop that fuel tank, I'm going to have to lower the car and disconnect some things in the trunk first. The metal tube coming up from the floor of the trunk is attached permanently to the fuel tank. So I will have to remove this fuel neck and hose right here in order for the fuel tank to drop down out the bottom of the car because this pipe right here is going to come with it. I don't think there's any way that this is going to turn so I'm going to have to cut it. There we go. Now I can drop the tank out the bottom. I put a jack under the fuel tank. That way I can undo all of the nuts and hold it up there until I can drop it down because it is still full of fuel. And since I'm here by myself, I'm going to need the jack's help to get that down. One of the studs broke when I tried to take the nut off of it. And another one is spinning, so someone must have already replaced that stud with a bolt. So I'm going to have to hold it from inside the trunk. I'm going to have to try to reach up there and spin it down here as well to get it loose. So this one actually has not been replaced with a bolt. It's either not stuck to the floor anymore, which is allowing it to turn. And also, weirdly, there's two nuts on this one. And by spinning this outer one, it does nothing. So that bolt, that nut is stripped. I'm going to try to get my socket over both of those. See if that helps any. I can turn it by hand. So these have become so rusty that they're completely stripped out. They're going to need to be cut off. Since there's not a lot of room to work with, I'm going to try to cut it with my Dremel. made a pretty good cut on it from this side. I may be able to just open that nut up now and get it off. I, I think I'm gonna make another cut on this side real quick. Now I can probably take a screwdriver and get a part of that nut off. Bring it around, make another cut. There's one nut gone. I'm having trouble getting to the nut because it's so far close to that fuel tank. Came off. So this over here, it feels like something over here is holding it. Looks like it's catching on the spring here. So it's gonna be a bit of a technique. I'm gonna have to drop it just enough to come off the studs on this side and then move it over this way so it's not catching on the spring. There we go. I think it's loose. See, it's hitting the bolt on the spring there, and that's also where the filler neck is coming up out of the fuel tank. 
So I can't really pull that to the side yet. There is a strange cutout right there. Maybe I need to twist it so that that clears, but this is the problem I'm having right now. There's also going to be wires for the sender up here, but I can't get to them until I lower the tank more. I think now's a good time to try to get these sender wires disconnected. Then I can worry about dropping the tank. Looking up on the top of the tank, there's our sender and where our wires connect to it. I got the fuel tank out, but this will take me a few days to clean up. So let's check out the fuel line and see if that's clogged up. Just like in the last video, I'm going to take my air gun. The fuel line is right here. I'm going to blow the air back through there and see if the air comes out the other side, see if it's clear or if it's clogged up. Yes, I can hear it coming out the back. Since that line is free, I'm going to move this hose, which is connected to my fuel bottle. I'll put the fuel bottle in the trunk and connect this up to my fuel line back there. Then I can connect everything in the engine bay up, make sure that the pump is actually working like it should. Then we'll start the car up and run it off of the pump for the first time. I put the hose from the bottle running down through the floor where the original filler tube was and it's connected up to the fuel line now. Okay, this will be the first running of the engine, at least hopefully, since I messed with the carburetors, installed the new fuel pump, and for the first time it's running off of a fuel source that's not in the engine bay. Let's turn on the ignition, it's turning the pump on. Let's make sure we're not leaking. So we need to wait till some fuel gets up here. I think I'm going to have to bleed it here again. If you get a lot of air in your fuel system, you need to bleed that out. Otherwise the engine's not gonna run and you're... There we go. Not gonna get your carburetor filled up with fuel. It's just a never ending cycle, but I think we're good now. Let's see if it starts. I wanted to. Going to hold the choke. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of starter fluid just to get it to click off. Finally, we have an engine that we can just start up. 
Obviously, it could be running a lot better than it is right now. But at least we have a good platform to work from now. We can just pick off little things to make the car run better, stop better, and drive better. That's going to be it for today. It seems like this project is taking a long time, but there's a lot of little things that crop up that you need to take care of. I'm really excited to get this car to the driving stage because I'm tired of pushing this thing around. So if you want to see more videos on this car, comment below and click subscribe.